Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Covering both sides of the big issues with the analysis you trust on News Radio 1040 WHO. I need to know with Jeff Angel's program. Okay, you heard a guest earlier in the hour say, Look, I do think that the economy is going to get better in about nine months. All right. I, I like being an optimist, but right now, I know what you're going through. There are a lot of people worrying these days about layoffs. So how can you thrive when you have layoff anxiety? Let's talk it over with Teresa Lusk, who's got a master's in professional counseling. You've heard Teresa on the show before. Hey, Teresa, great to uh, talk to you again. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Thanks for having me on. You know, Teresa, to me, the challenge of all of this is it's kind of always hanging over you. You know, you go to work and you got layoff anxiety. Um, How can you continue to thrive in a time like this? Yeah, it absolutely will cause uh, anxiety if you're just thinking that it might happen to you. But one of the things that you can do to prepare for controlling the thoughts and the anxiety is to um, look at your finances. And it's not because we're preparing for, for doom and gloom, but whenever a person feels like they have control over something, then they can begin to uh, feel, kind of quiet down some of those fears. So if you can just look at your finances and say, hey, I'm going to trim down on my expenses here and there. I'm saving some money, taking charge of my life in that area. That begins to help. Number two, you begin to reach out to those people that you have worked with before that are at other corporations, other companies, and you just begin to kind of connect with people, letting them know, hey, I'm here, Um, nothing's going on yet, but just in case, I just wanted to touch base and see what's going on over at your place. Um, Definitely work hard. You know, employers are watching. Although, no matter what you do, it may be inevitable, but they may also be able to say, you know what, this person, they're being positive, they're bringing in the good mood to the office while things are tough. They're taking up the extra slack. Um, they're, they're taking on responsibilities that are not typically theirs. That might get the attention of the employer who's having to make hard decisions. Teresa, I'm so glad you're saying this because I feel like this is, in general, how I try to deal with anxiety in my life. I need to feel like I'm doing something about it. Like life is not just happening to me. And that seems like a general principle that's helpful when you're worried about something, isn't it? Absolutely. And I think that's why we have so much anxiety is because we usually feel like we can't control a thing. We can't change it. So that's why the simple act of looking at your finances would help. Reaching out to people would help. Updating your resume, even that would help. Anything that puts action towards that thing that you may or may not be able to control would absolutely help. You know, believe it or not, even going out for a walk and getting some sunshine, some fresh air, appreciating the things around you, even that helps your mental state. Yeah, absolutely. So, Teresa, I was actually just talking to a friend the other day, and they said, I can't remember the last time I had a good night's sleep because they're just anxious. It's really bothering them. Is there any way of just calming your mind during these times? Yeah, you know, there's a couple of things you could do. You can definitely, before you go to bed, one of the things that I'm a big proponent of is watching something positive, something funny. Um, It really does kind of uh, go against those negative thoughts and feelings that have been circulating in your mind all day long. Um, Secondly, and I do this myself, whenever there's something that keeps going in my head, I literally (laughs) self-talk, excuse me, and I'll just say to myself, Teresa, there is nothing that you are going to be able to do about this right this second. So go to sleep. In the morning, you'll wake up and you can think about solutions for this problem. Self-talk is very important. You're already self-talking to yourself all day. You just don't realize the the, which self-talk you're giving to yourself. So this is more of a, of a, you know, I'm taking charge of what I'm going to think. Teresa's right on. I can't remember the uh, amount of times at two in the morning I say to myself, what are you going to do about it, Jeff, at two in the morning? That is Teresa Lusk, who's got a master's in professional counseling, love talking these issues over with her. Thank you, Teresa, for joining me today.